In this scenario, we're going to see a standard latish oracle. It's a situation where the Protoss player expands, but uses a later oracle to harass. I mentioned in the introduction that the fastest oracle possible uh, is very difficult to defend with this build. You simply lose too many marines, and your subsequent attack isn't strong enough, and it can't stand up to uh, pylon overcharge. But this is a normal oracle scenario. And this is a good example of why you do you ignore everything the Protoss player does while you're attacking. Because you always want to leave the base. This is actually a little bit late. I left the base at probably about 90% completion. You always want to leave at 75% completion. One thing to note about this map, we're on Laralit Crest. It's a four-player map. And if you want to execute the FUDK DK build on a four-player map, you need to, when the game starts, immediately take one SCV and scout your opponent's position. If you do it immediately, you'll always find your opponent before your first rack completes and you need to start your factory. And you, I, like I said before, I've uh, included all of the factory positions, the proxy factory positions, in an Imgur album that is in the information below the video. So I sent my first SCV out at the beginning of the game. I found his location. It was actually a close position. And right now I'm in the process of moving across the map. But at the same time, he's sending an oracle in to do some harassment. Whatever you do, do not bring your army back. Always leave your base at 75% stem completion. You'll see in this scenario, uh, the oracle hits, and I'm moving across the map, and I know this. So what I do to react to an oracle, a later oracle like this, is just take all of your SCVs and shift click a position outside of your base, not very far away, just far enough to where the oracle cannot sit on top of your SCVs and melt them. Just send them back and shift click back to this position because if his oracle's here, he's not going to be able to defend with the oracle back home and he's got to make a decision. He can either keep working on your SCVs, which is wonderful for you because you're in the process of destroying his base while he does this, or he can bring his oracle back to defend, in which case you'll have enough minerals to get an eBay up in the meantime. So let's watch this play out here. So I see his oracle, I grab my SCVs, and I shift click them to this position. Probably a little too far away actually. And in the meantime, I'm still moving across the map with my army. He's trying his best to take out these SCVs as I move across here, but he's not going to get nearly as much damage done as if he were to sit on, on top of my SCVs as, as they were mining. And so he's distracted, microing that, I get into his base, I st sim up his ramp, he doesn't have the protection necessary to stop my attack. And from there, it's just GG. Even if his Oracle got back to defend, I'm going to melt it. He's not sure what to do with it, actually. He's waiting for it to recharge, I think. Another uh, point to make. If he is doing some kind of Oracle play, and you're attacking, and he comes back with Oracles to defend, always prioritize the Oracles, because they will melt Marines. And if your Marines are caught up shooting something else, the Oracles can sometimes you know, whittle down your numbers and you can end up losing. So if you see an oracle and he decides to attack move against you, the first thing you do is right click the oracles. And once the oracles are dead, he's not going to have enough to uh, take your army with the, his remaining units. He might have an adept or two or some stalkers like in this case. But just stay away from the pylon overcharge and target down the oracles and you should be fine. Let's see what happens here. I think he attacks with both oracles at some point. Yeah, here they're, they're moving in now, it looks like. I'm not quite yet. So I'm avoiding this pylon overcharge. And eventually, he's going to commit. He's going to commit to an attack. Here comes the oracles. Target him down, one by one. Both oracles go down. And now he has nothing left to defend. And the game's over. I think he actually does not leave the game despite the fact that it's over.